<laughs> First thing this morning, I'm over here trying to line the camera up oh, so I can sit down and talk to it. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, that's where I just sat on my hand. It won't focus. That little white spot. Yeah, I pinched it enough that it turned white. <laughs> oh, that sucks. At least it don't hurt as bad and as long as I thought it would. Holy bejesus, but it was a good pain. Let's see if I can get it down here. So basically, on this chair I'm sitting on, there's a gap right there. My finger got in between that and picked it up and then I sat on the chair and it got me. <laughs> Whew. Whew. All right, I'm back in the shop Tuesday morning. Everything's so good so far this morning. Got up early, got here early. Uh, let's see if that continues. Trying to make today much better than it was yesterday. Yesterday was a complete disaster. And I don't want today to be a complete disaster. So we're gonna try to fix that today. What I'm thinking about doing is those heads I kept talking about that actually I said I was gonna do yesterday first thing, but then I was like, well, let me knock this 400 out. And then that just turned into a complete, complete, utter waste of time. So I'm done with the 400 and that customer still hasn't called me back. I'm gonna send him a message as soon as I get off of here and see if I can get him to respond because I cannot move forward with that until he does. Anyways, I got those 351 heads that I'm going to start and I'm thinking about doing a complete like before and after with these because I don't know if I've done the before side of it yet. Like I know I've done time lapse where you can see it but I don't know if I've actually like got a little bit of b-roll of like a terrible looking set of heads and these were disgusting. Um, I'm going to go do that now and I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Whoosh! I thought I'd do a side-by-side -side comparison. I got one of the heads done. Compared, well, the first step of it done, I should say. I just got through blasting it. That's how much better it looked. Like, up in here, this kind of stuff I'm not worried about because when I surface it, all that's going to be taken off. But, like, in here where the surface the machine will not touch, look at how good that looks. Those bee blast machines are worth their weight in gold. I mean, they just make things so much easier, so much cleaner. Like this, I'm surface also. And this is the part like where all the oil seeps. Let me get these flipped over. This is like where all the stuff got gunked up, where the oil's sitting on it, it gets baked into the head and just becomes charcoal basically. It's disgusting. This is after I mean, I wash these heads twice to get them this good. <laughs> I guess I should have baked them. But look at this. Look at this. I missed a little bit right in here. I'll get that out. Didn't shoot that. Yeah, and a little bit down in there wouldn't come out either. I'll get that too. But yeah, that's light years different. Alright, to the next step. Well, actually, let's do this head and then to the next step. Alright, so those little spots I missed ended up being a lot more greasy than they looked. I figured it was just baked on charcoal. Oh, like it just became. What is the word I'm looking for there? Because charcoal is not it, but I keep saying charcoal. So until I can come up with that word I'm looking for, <laughs> if we're going with charcoal. Anyways, it ended up being a little bit greasier than I thought. So like when I actually took like a wire brush to it to get it off of the heads so I could go ahead and start like actually cutting the seats and all that good stuff and checking the guides, I was like, wow, that threw grease everywhere. So they're back in the washer for a minute. But whenever all of the surfaces that like a gasket touches, that way there it has a good fresh contact source for that and then I went over it with a air gun for a little bit just getting it good and de-beaded as good as I can the first go around. I'll probably go over it about three times is what I usually do because I'll blow it off before I put it on my valve cutting machine and then I'll blow it when I get done doing that and then put it on the actual surfacing machine. What are you doing auto ISO? Come on, show my face. <laughs> Anyways, then I'll actually put it on the surface machine. When it gets done, I'll blow all that out again because you got metal flake getting down in it and 
that'll give me three times as far as trying to get the bead blast out of it. And then before I give it to the customer, actually I'll probably do it about four times because I'll actually hit it with some brake clean and then blow it one last time. Hopefully get all of the bead out of it. Anyways, I'm, while it's in the washer, I'm going to go ahead and take a lunch break at this point and eat me some tacos that I brought with me. All right, talk to you in a little bit. I got the 351 heads done other than surfacing them. That's all I got to do. Surface them, assemble them back together. I still got to stop by the warehouse and pick up the uh, valve stem seals because I don't have them yet. I ordered them, but I had a guy come by, drop a block off. He wanted to talk for a little bit. Then I had a guy drop off another set of heads. He wanted to talk for a little bit. So, you know, I never got out of here. But I got this heads done. I got the block that's the guy dropped off washed and it's torn apart like the freeze plugs and all that stuff out of it so I can have it in the boring machine in the morning and hopefully get it knocked out also tomorrow. So getting the block done, reassembling these heads, getting them surfaced first, and getting that done. So that'd be a good chunk of change out of nowhere kind of thing with that block that's showing up randomly and I can knock that out at the same time I knock these heads out. So I'll have a little bit of money tomorrow. Tomorrow is the first of two, oh yeah, 2020, 2020. 2020 one one tomorrow so anyways i'm gonna go home for new year's eve we're not really doing anything just gonna be sitting around the house with the kids and see you guys in the morning i guess because i'm kind of out of things to talk about till next year Whoosh. another vlog has come to an end which means it's time to smash this like button right here click on the share button over here share this vlog with anybody you think might find it interesting Comment down below, let me know what you thought about the vlog. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, that way there you'll get the notifications and we will talk with you later. Whoosh.